Hey guys, Mr. Shaw here. I'm standing here at Skakefell Glacier in Iceland. I'm trying to get you a view of it. Basically what you're looking at is a giant frozen river. And you can see that it's kind of cutting through this canyon. The water is all about, it can get up to 2,000 feet high in the really far back parts of the glacier. And the water is actually pushing down on the ground, pulling little pieces of dirt and mud with it and carrying it with it. And that's causing this huge massive scale erosion that you can't get with a river. Rivers take a long time, they don't cut very deep, but glaciers are so heavy and so full that they carry entire continents with them practically. And so this entire flattening you see has been caused by the glacier. The glacier was caused in the top of the mountains where you've got like spring water, you've got rainwater, it's freezing for such a long time and it gets so heavy that it starts to flow down super super slowly like a slug and it'll carry with it all the dirt and all the rock until it finally starts to get to a point where it gets warm enough that it starts to melt. When that happens, it's kind of hard to see but I'll show you a clip of it later, when that happens you actually get river water that forms. It's completely crystal clean and a lot of times you'll see in stores they're selling river water uh, that's made out of glacier water because it's so pure and it's basically completely pure water from this ice cube that is slowly rolling down. Now on the sides of that you see a bunch of other rock. The glaciers that were above them flowed into the middle instead of flowing down their side so they didn't erode and so they're going to stay put and they're going to make kind of a canyon or a little valley that you see in between here. So from this spot you can get a better sense of the Glacier River. You've got the glacier here and you can see that it's flattening out into an area where it's melting just in the back there and that's going to flow all the way down to the ocean. Hey guys, Mr. Shaw again. So here you can see another example of a Glacier River that's turning into a Glacier Lake. And you can see that water down there, it's clear and it's blue and it's delicious looking. And all those big giant ice cubes in there are pieces of the glacier that have kind of broken off and fallen uh, kind of down to the river. Now behind it you can see the glacier flowing down and it's super super slow so you can't see it moving. But you can see it kind of coming down the slope. Up at the very top, way in the background that you can't see because of the clouds would be a mountain or some other large like body of a mass that the glacier is kind of flowing down on. Hey guys, Mr. Shaw again. I'm standing here by a really small iceberg and you can see this iceberg is just slowly melting over time. This iceberg was washed down from a glacier and now it's basically washed up on shore. There's a lot of other stuff in the iceberg. Some of it is the black sand that we have. Some of it are layers of volcanic ash. But it's actually made completely of fresh water and I could even just break off a piece right here if I were strong enough and drink some. Instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of the water that's dripping off of it. It's in my hand now. Drink it. it tastes like fresh water. <laughs> Hey, it's Mr. Shaw again. So you notice behind me are a bunch of little waterfalls that are all flowing into this river. But something you might find odd is that there's no rivers that are actually pouring the waterfalls out of anything. It doesn't seem to be coming from anywhere. All that water is actually coming from underground, and it's seeping out through the sides of that rock. The underground water came from a glacier that melted high up on the mountains. The mountains are really far away, so far you can't even really see them in this clip. But all that water is like eroding through the rocks and then rolling into the river where it's flowing down. All that water is going to keep on coming as long as the glacier keeps melting and as long as there's rain falling on top of it. But it's passing through little underground caves and tunnels instead of through a river like we're used to.